The Atlantic slave trade started when the European Empire lacked workers. The Europeans were unsuited to the climate and were vulnerable to tropic diseases. Africans were immune to the diseases because they adapted to it. They had good experience in working and they were hard workers. They had a whole system where people who wanted to buy Africans go to the African outposts and purchase slaves from the African tribal leader. After a while, some countries soon realized that slavery was wrong. The U.S. started punishing people who were still practicing slavery. They made a law stated that anybody who was practicing slavery, pr slave piracy would be punished. Great Britain passed the Abolition of Slavery Act. The countries that participated in the slave trade were Portugal, Britain, France, Spain, Netherlands, and the United States. The unwilling participants were obviously the Africans. People that brought slaves that bought slaves lived a better life because all the hard labor, th labor that they had to do was now given to the slaves. This affected the Africans a lot because they were not paid, they lived in bad conditions, and were treated poorly. Many Africans died as slaves because of disease and labor. The Europeans lost their source of inc income, which was mainly slave trading. After the abolition of the slave trading, Europeans soon needed another source of income. This was their main motivation to colonize Africa. The Europeans also wanted to show their dominance in Europe. Because of industri industrialization, many people in Europe suffered from unemployment and poverty. People wanted to go somewhere else to start a new life. Africa was their solution. The Europeans changed their government to a more modern government. Old African kingdoms and empires soon faded away. The Europeans brought modern weapons to Africa from the Industrial Revolution. Whenever they fought, they would always come on top because of their better technology. Africans tried to resist colonialism by forming nationalist parties to protest against it. During World War II, the colonies took their people back so they could fight in the war. The African countries tried to gain independence now that all the colonial powers were weaker. Africans had a hard time adjusting to this new way of life. Urbanization was one of the legacies that was left by colonial colonialization. Europeans brought new technology to Africans. It changed the way they lived. Europeans brought Christianity to Africa. Today, about half of the African pop population identif identifies themselves as Christians. Europeans also educated Africans. They brought modern schools to educate them. Thank you very much.